Hello, young adventurers. Welcome to Reading Redness Centers, where we embark on exciting journeys through the world of geography. Today, we are setting sail on a grand voyage to explore the fascinating world of maps and navigation. Ever been lost? Feeling like you're wandering around with no clue where to go? Don't worry, it happens to the best of us. But there's a secret weapon that explorers, adventurers, and even you can use to find your way, maps. Picture yourself as a bold pirate sailing the vast seas in search of hidden treasures. But amidst the endless waves, how do you navigate your way to the sparkling jewels? Enter the magical realm of maps. Maps are like treasure maps of our world, revealing the locations of lands and guiding us on our quests. Maps are like magic carpets that take us on journeys without leaving our chair. They show us where places are, how far apart they are, and even how to get there. This giant one. It's a world map, showing all the countries and continents on Earth. Did you know the oldest known map is a clay tablet dating back over 7,500 years? It shows a simple drawing of a village and surrounding mountains, pretty amazing for something so old. This one here is a city map, like a treasure map for your town. It has streets, landmarks, and parks, just like the ones you know. And ever seen a pirate movie with a treasure map? Those use symbols and directions to lead you to hidden booty. Fun fact, some pirate treasure maps might actually be real. In 2014, a shipwreck believed to be Blackbeard's queen and revenge was discovered off the coast of North Carolina, with the help of old maps and metal detectors. But maps alone aren't enough. Imagine you're standing in the middle of a giant city map, how do you know which way is north? That's where a compass comes in. This handy tool has a tiny needle that always points north, no matter where you are. With the compass by our side, we can navigate through unknown territories and chart our course with confidence. Did you know the compass actually works because of Earth's core? The Earth's core is like a giant magnet, and the compass needle aligns with its magnetic field, always pointing north. With a map and a compass, you can figure out your cardinal directions north, south, east, and west. Just like a pirate using their treasure map, you can use these directions to find your way around. Interesting fact, explorers used compasses for centuries to navigate the oceans. Imagine Christopher Columbus setting sail with a map and compass to find a new route to India even though he ended up somewhere else. Maps and compasses were essential tools for these brave adventurers. But wait, there's more. In this age of technological marvels, we have a revolutionary tool known as GPS, which stands for Global Positioning System. It's like having a wise navigator in the palm of your hand. It uses satellites in space to pinpoint your exact location on a digital map, like magic. Did you know the first GPS satellite was launched in 1978? Today, there's a whole constellation of GPS satellites orbiting Earth, helping us navigate everywhere from our cars to our phones. And ever seen a car with a navigation system that uses similar technology? You simply tell it where you want to go, and it shows you the best route, complete with turns and even traffic updates. Did you know that the oldest known map dates back over 4,000 years? Ancient civilizations such as the Babylonians and Egyptians crafted maps to navigate their surroundings and explore distant lands. Furthermore, the art of mapmaking, known as cartography, has been a vital aspect of human history. Cartographers meticulously craft maps to accurately represent our world and guide us on our journeys. And don't forget the amazing globe. It's like a miniature earth you can hold in your hands. Spin it around and see all the different countries, oceans, and continents. Maps and globes can teach us so much about our planet, and who knows, maybe they'll inspire you to be an explorer one day. If you've enjoyed this adventure, 
Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to Reading Redness Centers for more captivating explorations. Until our next journey, may your travels be filled with wonder and discovery, young explorers.